Okay, in this lesson, what we're going to be looking at is something called the conjugate. Uh, it's used when we rationalize a binomial denominator of a radical expression. Uh, if we had a monomial denominator of a radical expression, uh, it's a lot easier. Uh, you would anticipate that in this example down here, uh, I would need a pair of fives to rationalize the denominator. So if I multiplied uh, this by root five and by square root five, uh, what you'll see is it actually doesn't simplify anything because your denominator in this case would become the square root of 5 times 5 plus 7 root 5. So while this pair of 5's can come out as a 5, I still have um, a radical expression in my denominator. It just has transferred uh, which term. So uh, it's a lot more difficult to rationalize this denominator because if we just multiply it by square root 5, it doesn't actually simplify it at all. Um, a few things to recall before we get into this is that a radical expression in simplest form has no radicals in the denominator. Uh, to create an equivalent radical expression with no radicals in the denominator is called rationalizing the denominator. That's what we're going to focus on. And today, what we're going to do is to rationalize a binomial. So you'll see in each of these examples, we have uh, two terms in our denominator. Uh, to rationalize a binomial denominator, what we're going to have to do is, uh, much like we did with monomials, is multiply the expression uh, by a fraction that has the same numerator and denominator because essentially this is the same as multiplying by one uh, which doesn't change the value of the expression uh, however that uh, what we're going to multiply by looks different for rationalizing a binomial denominator what we're going to do is multiply by what this is a new term uh, by the conjugate of the denominator of the rational expression, which essentially creates a difference of squares. You'll see how that works. Uh, I'm actually just going to do the first one to show you how it works. On uh, this one, we've got a binomial denominator, and I'll tell you right now that in order to rationalize this denominator, the conjugate of root 5 plus 7 is the square root of 5 minus 7. You may kind of remember that looks kind of similar to a difference of squares, and you'll see why in practice that's useful. If we look at the numerator first, uh, what you'll see is that 11 times root 5 and 11 times 7, our numerator is going to become 11 root 5 minus 77. Uh, as far as our denominator goes, we're going to have to use the distributive property. Uh, five, root 5 times root 5 is root 5 times 5. Uh, root 5 times negative 7 is negative 7 root 5. Uh, 7 times root 5 is plus 7 root 5. And finally, 7 times negative 7 is negative 49. Uh, so in this particular case, what you'll notice uh, is that these two middle terms, because it's a difference of squares, actually cancel out. Uh, and this first term, because it is a pair of 5s, it can come out as a single 5. So we're going to actually end up having, uh, in our denominator, so this is 11 root 5 minus 77 uh, all over. And you can see it's going to be 5 minus 49. Uh, so in this particular case, uh, close to our simplest form is 11 root 5 minus 77 uh, all over negative 44. Uh, however, in this particular case, you'll see that we can divide those all by 11, or in other words, if I wanted to split this into two separate fractions, this is 11 root 5 minus uh, over negative 44, uh, minus 77 over negative 44, and we can divide all of these reduced by 11, so it becomes uh, those reduced to that, and this reduces to uh, negative 7 over negative 4, so in my simplest form will be uh, this here, is root 5 minus 7, sorry, uh, all over a common denominator of negative 4. Uh, that would be our simplest form. Okay. Uh, in this next one, you may anticipate what the conjugate is going to be. Uh, just before we do that, let's talk about any restrictions. Since I have a square root of x, um, one of my restrictions in this particular case would be that x has to be greater than or equal to 0. Uh, the conjugate of 2 root x minus 3 root 2 is, uh, as you may anticipate, is 2 root x not minus 3 root 2, but plus 3 root 2. Uh, so if I multiply the numerator and the denominator by... Uh, 2 root x plus 3 root 2. Uh, if I distribute the numerator, what you're going to see happen is we're going to have 12 root x plus 18 root 2, and that is going to all be over in this case, uh, if I distribute carefully, uh, 2 times root x is a pair of 2s 
times the square root of a pair of x's. Uh, I find that the easiest way to represent it without making mistakes. Uh, my next one would be uh, <clears throat> plus 6 root 2x. And hopefully this next term, which it will be, will be minus 6 root 2x. And my last term here would be negative 9 root 2 times 2, or negative uh, 3 times 3 square root of 2 times 2. So as we simplify this, uh, again, just being careful, uh, what we're going to see happen is that these two middle terms, because they're like and opposites, they cancel out. Uh, I can take out this pair of x's as a single x. So this uh, denominator, let's just leave the numerator the way it is at the moment. Uh, so I'm just going to leave it like that. My denominator will end up being, uh, in the case of the first term there, uh, will become 4x. And my second term here, I can take out this pair of 2's as a single 2. So if I multiply 3 times 3 times 2, I end up getting 18. So this will be minus 18. Uh, in this particular case, what you will see uh, <clears throat> is you may think you're done. Uh, but these are all even. Uh, so we can actually divide everything by 2. Uh, but to kind of show you why you can do that, uh, if I factor out two from all of these. What you'll see in the numerator is I have two uh, times six root x plus nine root two. And in my denominator I have two uh, times, in this case, two x minus nine. Uh, so you can see that those twos can or have been factored out and can cancel out. So my simplest form uh, is six root x plus nine root two uh, all over two x minus nine. Uh, that's my simplest form, and you'll see that the denominators in both cases have been rationalized. Um, finally, just as a quick additional thing, if you're asked what is the conjugate of a binomial, uh, it's essentially just saying that the to make a difference of squares, the conjugate of 2 minus 3 root x would be 2 plus. Okay, so it's just the conjugate would be 2 plus. 3 root x, or the conjugate of 4x root 2 plus 3 root 5 uh, would be 4x root 2 minus 3 root 5.